In this video, we're going to smack a crowd of zombies with a giant ball using ragdolls and the bullet solver for crowds inside Houdini. First, let's put down a mocap biped, change its animation to zombie cycle and texture number 4. Click on Bake Agent and follow the prompts. Type in zombie, hit accept, and next we'll click on collision layer and configure joints. Let's populate the scene with them. And again, we'll follow the prompts. Click on Simulate to create the crowd network. And I'm just going to make a cluster of the zombies, so I'll change the number of agents and the area size. Also, I'll change the default state to Zombie, which is the clip we baked out earlier. And I'll go back up to Object Level and dive inside to our crowd network. We're going to rename our walk state to zombie. Let's play back. Let's go back up to object level, and we need to put down a ground plane. It's going to toggle visibility on the ground plane and throw some zombie texture on our guys. Now we're going to make a sphere, size it up, and turn it into an RBD object. With the sphere selected, click on RBD object. Double click on the sphere node, we're just going to put down some quick color on it. Go back up to object level. And now we're going to make the ball collide with the zombie agents. Hit Ctrl B to expand the network editor window. And there's our sphere node. Let's copy and paste the name. In the Crowd Trigger node, select RBD Impact Data, and we're going to paste the name of the Sphere node into the DOP Impact Objects field. Control and B to unexpand the window. And let's make the ball roll into the zombies. The ball is moving in Z axis, so let's put there a value of minus 20 in the Z velocity field. Let's go out to object level and play it back. But nothing's happening. That's because we need to change the zombie state node's RBD ragdoll setting from ignore to animated static. Much better. It's a bit beach ball-y though, so let's put their more weight into the ball. We'll up the density to 3000. That looks okay, but we want the zombies to immediately fall down when smacked by the ball. In the Crowd Transition node, change Input State to Zombie and Output State to Ragdoll. And change the Duration to 0 and uncheck Random Time Offset. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Go back up to Object Level and expand the Perspective view. And roll the playback. And that's the ragdolls interacting with Dobbs via the bullet solver inside Houdini.